Hey everybody, it's Thursday, September 17. We have all of our rescue trailers loaded, roll cages ready to go. We are heading to Indiana. We've been involved in a federal uh, lawsuit with uh, that PETA had against the Wynn property, which was wildlife in need. Um, we, the federal judge has placed eight cats in permanent care for Turpentine Creek, and there'll be four lions and four tigers that we're rescuing. And we'll keep everybody up to date throughout the rescue and let everyone know when we're on our way back. We're headed to Wildlife in Need. There's uh, 14 or 15 marshals, state troopers, uh, uh, law officials uh, with us. That's vehicles, and we don't know how many people are in each vehicle, so there's a, quite the caravan headed uh, not far away to uh, Wildlife in Need, Tim Stark's place, where Turpentine Creek, we are picking up eight big cats some lions, some tigers, some white tigers. This is Tanya Smith with Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge. We're gearing up to go to Tim Stark's place. We're going to be rescuing uh, over 20 big cats today. Uh, actually, eight big cats are coming with us back to Arkansas, and um, you know we're real excited to help these animals and to get them out of the situations they're in. We've got the U.S. Marshals with us, uh, lots of different uh, organizations. PETA is involved in this rescue, and just uh, a lot of backup, so we're really happy to have that. Uh, Tim Stark is at large right now, so they're trying to find him. But uh, we've got all the protection we need to make this rescue happen uh, seamlessly.
everybody we are have a couple cats loaded and one sedated and loaded uh, these cats right here uh, one has gotten stressed out since we moved his friend um, and so we're gonna sedate glacier and then um, then hurricane and avalanche right after that they're way too stressed um, and so we're just gonna do that. That way they're older, we can run their blood. They've not been sedated that, that uh, the team here is aware of. And um, we can do a full health check on them. And then we'll have two more to go and hopefully they load right up in the roll cages for us.
Wildlife Refuge and um, we're excited. We're in Indiana right now. We just left Tim Stark's Wildlife in Need. Uh, there was, all of his animals have been taken into confiscation. Um, removed. So, removed from his facility. And uh, we brought home eight, or bringing home eight big cats right now. So um, four lions and four tigers. And Emily, you want to tell them about it? Yeah, some of them had to be sedated while we were there. Uh, loading was not um, quite possible in all these situations. So, but while we had them sedated, we were able to take their blood. We'll be able to run that in our hospital right when we get back to the facility and give them a microchip and their vaccines. And the so those guys will be ready to go. We do have some issues with some of the older ones that. Uh, Dr. Kellen will have to attend to right away. One of the male lions, uh, Chief, um, has, you know, is definitely um, needing some medical attention, but uh, we did work with PETA on this rescue, and um, this was a long, ongoing case, and it felt pretty remarkable to leave there today. Actually, we left there with the last animal, loaded up the last tiger, the last animal totally on that property. Yeah. And we're just happy to help. That's the only reason we're doing this is just to help help these animals and give them a lifetime home at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge where they'll never have to face this again. And we can only do that with your help. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your donations and anything you can do to help us help these animals.